Uh, we have one other PSA uh, that is an FPV-related PSA, and it relates to people who are plugging in their O3 air unit to their flight controller, and then are they frying, or is it just not working? I, if you're frying something, you're frying the S bus channel on your O3 unit. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically how this is working from what we, from what I can uh, suss out here. So this might be a little confusing. People are going to get confused. And I've talked to a lot uh -huh. of people who get very confused when we explain this and then they come around and they're like, Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Now it makes sense. So we're going to attempt to explain why this is confusing. I got so, these pictures right here you can see. Yes. So so the crux of this issue comes in the fact that manufacturers did not decide to uh, follow the color ordering of that Vista cable. Uh -huh. So right, we, we could see the Vista cable there has a color ordering, and you could suss out from the color ordering what it wants you yeah, to do, right? Yeah. It wants well, you to – want you. To, yeah. it, it sure looks like the color ordering is very, very similar, Bluntie. Like we got red, black, then uh, – wait a minute. No, white, gray. That – Okay. That seems like the right, the O3 cable on the right seems like the right colors. Red, black, gray, white, and then the, the brown and yellow. Brown, wait, no. Yeah, brown that's is signal the, ground and, and yellow is S bus. Yeah, right? that's yeah. the standard DJI order, right? What I don't know what's that's, going on with this Vista cable. That's correct. Well, the thing is, so, uh, right, the Vista cable doesn't really give you a suss out. If you, if you guessed, you might assume that voltage was on that side with the red. Well, and obviously. That, uh, and the S-Bus was on the side with the yellow, right? However, a, a lot of manufacturers did not get that memo, did not do any of that. And the, the, the thing that happened here is that it didn't matter to end users because if that Vista cable is solderable, right? So all the end saw, user yeah. does is you plug in the thing and then you solder up the parts to where you want to go. So your red might be ended up going to S-Bus and your yellow might end up going to power. And it turns out for a lot of, for a lot of flight controllers, that was the case. So when you plug in that and you try to wire it up to a Vista and you do it correctly, you're going to end up putting that red wire to S-Bus and the yellow wire to power and they're backwards ordered because hmm. the manufacturers didn't really care about the order of the Vista cable. Uh, Some of them made their own cables and sent them out. And yeah, a that, lot of that was, I was trying to think why I haven't run into this. And I think the reason is that I usually use the cable that comes with my flight controller and I seldom yeah. use the Vista cable. That's why I don't think I've noticed and, this before. And, and the other problem that happened is with the original air unit, a lot of people were like, well, DJI sent out an air unit cable, right? It was eight pins on one side and six pins on the other. But if you actually look it up, DJI never pinned the other side. They sent those cables out to manufacturers and then manufacturers pin those. So there's like an iFlight version of that cable and all those kind of things. And it's an official DJI cable. Mm -hmm. But iFlight is the one who pinned them. So what yes. you're going to find out is that many flight controllers will match the order, and many of them will not, and they'll have different orders. And this did yeah. not matter until the release of the O3 Air Unit, because right. if we'll flip back to that picture real quick, we'll see that the O3 Air Unit is pinned on both sides, right? Right. And so if you and just plug this in willy-nilly, there's no guarantee that your flight controller's pins will be in the correct order, and shit could go wrong. That's correct. Yeah. And most people are assuming because they're, they just remember, right? They just remember everything kind of working because yeah. they're using cables from the company. A lot of people aren't really considering this. And most people would think about this kind of thing, but, but they don't really, some, a lot, I've noticed a lot of people I consider experienced who have not considered this and who've kind of just plugged it in right into their flight controller without thinking. Just to be clear, the only issue with the order is do they go left to right or right to left. It, it seems in almost all cases that is the case. I have not found one yet that doesn't match the order, just flip them. It seems uh -huh. like it's always flipped. And that's why I said at the beginning, it seems like the only problem you're going to have is you're going to send voltage down the S bus channel to the O3 unit. And, and so it looks like you're going to fry the S bus channel potentially. Um, I talked now, to Madstech, and he was not yeah. able to identify a diode on the board. I looked for a diode so we could give an example of how to fix this, but I could not find a diode on the O3 offhandedly. Now, I want to I wanna call out this comment from Quad Doc, which says, call out the flight controllers and brands that got this pin out wrong. Name and shame time. Hold on. It, yeah. Nobody got this wrong. That's the problem. Because there was no standard for whether the plug should go in like this or like this. Yeah. They, as and long it, as the pins go in the correct order, voltage ground, it, TX, RX, S-Bus ground, or whatever the order is, the manufacturer just picked one. Nobody's wrong here. It's just that now yes. that DJI is shipping a cable, everybody needs to get in line. 
Yes, and this was also compounded by the fact that we had the air unit released for months before the Vista. There were a lot of different issues that happened with these uh, with those boards and the orders. And again, people produced their own cables because they weren't getting the right Vista cables or they wanted them pre-pinned to their things. And it ended up where we got uh, yeah boards that were out of order, unfortunately. And if but, you look online, you'll see that the order is correct, but it just flipped in a lot of cases. So. And just because this is a potentially a confusing thing, Maria Opria says the connector should have uh, tabs to prevent you from plugging it in the wrong way. The issue is not the issue is the direction that the builder of the flight controller put the pins on the flight controller. You cannot plug the the plug in upside down. But if they didn't order the pins the way that DJI decided that they should when they released the these flight controllers were built before the O three O unit was out there. So they just so the bottom line is this. Double check that plug before you power up and plug in your O three air unit. The simplest thing to do, in my opinion, is get your multimeter. Put it in continuity mode, touch the ground prong on your XT60, and touch the outside of the O3 air unit, which should be grounded, or oh, touch yeah. a UFL plug connector if you want, if you want on the antenna, whatever. And it, you should have ground continuity through. If you don't, then you've got it pa- plugged in the wrong way, and you could have an issue. Um, do not, by the way, do not, for God's sake, spend nine dollars on this cable. Just buy an SH 1.0 cable set. Uh, is from, it SH? Or, oh, yeah, JST. Yep. I think it's SH, right? Looks, does, is it SH? It looks like SH. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, you could get it from Race Day Quads. You get it all. You get it various places. For $5, you get enough stuff to make 10 cables. Or if you just can't F and be bothered, buy I spend $9 on this cable. But. Uh, you're going to end up potentially having to repin this cable anyway, so it's not going to save you that much time. Okay. Clear as mud, right? Yes. Hopefully that helps some people and they get some idea of what of what the issues are there. Too. The moral of the story is always double check your pinouts. Never trust. Yeah. Always double check the pinout. Never no trust the manufacturer what. to do it right. Don't trust you. it. No matter what. I wouldn't go as far as Joey W. and say solder everything. Uh, no. Come on now. You can use the plug to just verify, verify the plug. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, that's enough. That's that's a lot of DJ. It's 6.15 and we talked about DJI for, for probably five minutes. That's enough. 